This new flip phone has been all hyped up and that's because this brings the whole foldable flip phone form factor to a price we haven't seen before. I'm talking about the new Techno Phantom V Flip that has launched in India at Rs 49,999 for a limited period of time and that is really good pricing for a premium flip phone. And do note that this pricing is without any bank discounts or offers, 50k is the real price and honestly when I heard the price I was like how are they doing this? Is there any catch here that everyone's missing? Let's go into detail. See, first of all, the unboxing experience here is pretty nice. You get this big box with the phone, obviously this really cool case. There's a charger in the box and you also get these stickers. Now, a special mention to the case because it looks really cool. Anyway, this is what the new Phantom V Flip looks like. We've got the black variant, which has this nice and premium leather back. And the frame here is aluminium. The hinge here is made of steel and it has two displays. There's the main 6.9 inch AMOLED display and this has top end specs, 10 bit, 120 Hertz LTPO refresh rate, 100 thousand nits of peak brightness and this is protected with an ultra thin glass and this is a nice and bright display with vibrant colors and deep blacks and LTPO means that the refresh rate here is dynamic and everything just feels super smooth to use. Now the screen here has this plastic bezel that we see on all flip phones and it is a big fingerprint magnet but other than that I like how minimal the crease is. I mean you can see it with the screen off and you can feel it but what's really cool is that it's hard to notice with the screen on and even on angles. What's also commendable is that the hinge here folds the phone completely, no gaps at all. And you can feel the movement in the hinge when you fold and unfold the device, but there's no creaking noise or anything. I mean, it feels solid when I'm doing this and Techno has tested this for 200,000 cycles, so should be good. Also, the hinge here lets you set the device at different angles between 30 to 150 degrees and some apps adapt to this. The camera UI gets divided like this and you can use this to shoot something like a time-lapse video. YouTube also adapts nicely and so does the gallery app. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, we've seen this feature in Samsung's flip phones, so it's nice that Techno also brings this in the Phantom V Flip. Now, one thing I did notice is that the phone does not lay completely flat when folded. It's a very minor thing and you have to view it like this to see it, but yeah, something to note. Anyway, the cover screen here is a round screen and the specs are good. It's a 60 Hz AMOLED display that can go up to 800 nits and this is protected with Gorilla Glass 5 and I think this whole look with the camera surrounding it looks pretty nice. Plus, it has all the features you expect. The UI here is a lot like what you get on a smartwatch with the round screen. I mean, you press and hold and you get the wallpapers and there are some fun animated options. You can even set one of these cute pets on the cover screen. Swipe down from the top gives you the quick settings. Swipe up from the bottom for notifications and you can reply to text from here with these emojis and quick replies, but yeah, no voice to text. You can also receive calls from here, but there's no flip open to accept the call. And coming back to the screen, on the left, you have the music controls and the right has all the widgets. There's a widget for weather, calendar, camera, which lets you take a selfie from the main camera in the AI mode or portrait mode, and you can even shoot a video. You can also check out the photo zoom in. There's also the activity widget, alarms, voice recorder, timer, and stopwatch. The cover screen apart, this has the fingerprint scanner on the side. It also has face unlock. It also has stereo speakers that are pretty good. And it has an IPX2 rating, which means some resistance to water splashes. Now, this does not have a micro SD slot or a headphone jack, but what's really strange is that this only has a single SIM slot and there's no support for eSIM here. Now, the whole foldable flip design apart, one thing that actually surprised me pleasantly is the software. So this has Techno's high OS 13.5 based on Android 13, and there are a few pre-installed apps which can be uninstalled. And this is not the most impressive in terms of updates. This will get two major OS updates, which is not the best support in this price range. But what's interesting is that HiOS 13.5 here comes with an AI assistant called Ella GPT, and Ella is based on OpenAI, and that means it's actually useful. First of all, it has a high Ella hot word to activate it, and you can even ask questions ranging from what's the weather like, turn on the dark theme, to writing an email for leaves or even get an HTML code. This is really cool and I wasn't expecting this. Plus, HiOS comes with its own phone app and SMS app and the phone app is something you really like because it has the call recording feature and there's no announcement on the other side. I also like this privacy feature where someone enters the wrong passcode three times and the phone takes a photo of the person and even to shut it down, there's a password required, so pretty useful. These features are part of the UI seems optimized, your app launches are quick, multitasking is good and in terms of specs, this is part by the MediaTek Dimensity 8050 with 8GB LPDDR4X RAM and 256GB UFS 3.1 storage. Now, these are the benchmark scores from the phone and the truth is this is not the most powerful phone at its price, but for a flip phone, these are decent numbers. Now, Dimensity 8050 is generally good here. You can game on this. Asphalt is pretty smooth and BGMI on smooth and extreme is decent, but we did notice the phone getting warm around the camera area after a long gaming session or say benchmarks. I mean, it's not a big issue because generally it's all fine, but we also noticed some throttling in the test. 
Moving to the battery, this has a 4000 mAh battery which is good when it comes to flip phones and this has this 45 watt fast charger in the box. Now when it comes to battery performance, I found it to be decent, a screen on time of 5 hours is what you can expect. The camera setup here is a 64 megapixel main camera and a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and this is not a very camera oriented phone but it takes fairly decent photos be it in daytime and low light. I mean the biggest point here is that photos look appealing. Sure, some photos have saturated colors but it's clear that Techno has optimized the cameras with a more social media ready approach in mind. The 4K videos on the phone look good quality wise but since there's only EIS, no OIS, there is a bit of shakiness. On the front you get a 32 megapixel sensor and there is a hidden dual flash here as well and selfies from the phone look nice and well exposed and on the connectivity front this has 14 5G bands, carrier aggregation support, NFC, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. Now to sum things up, the Techno Phantom V Flip is an exciting new smartphone because it's clear that foldables are becoming more and more mainstream with devices like this and what's awesome is that for a first flip phone, this is a solid attempt by Techno. I mean the design is really good, it's a well-built phone and Techno has made sure to bring all the flip phone features you expect. Sure, there are some quirks in this phone but at 50k, this is an exciting option, no doubts about that. Anyway, I want to know from you guys, Techno Phantom V Flip at 49999, what do you think? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.